This is the plaintiff, Jaquan Thompson. He says he and the defendant have been friends for over 10 years, and he never thought he'd have to take him to court over a loan. That's right. He helped the guy out for two years, giving him money for baby food, diapers, or anything else he needed. Turns out that guy's a user who owes him $3,000, and he's suing the defendant for just that today. This is the defendant, Duan Scott Crowley. He says the plaintiff gave him a large amount of marijuana to sell, and he was unable to unload it for the guy. So he and the plaintiff and their friends smoked it. A few months later, the plaintiff shows up demanding payment for the marijuana. He told them he didn't owe them anything for it because they all had a good time with it, and they ended up fighting about it. This whole story about a $3,000 loan's a lie. He owes the plaintiff nothing and is sure the judge will agree. He's accused of causing a friendship to go up in smoke. All parties, please do your right hand. See to come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Okay, Jaquan Thompson, you are suing. De How do I pronounce your name? Dewan. Dewan Scott. Crowley? Crowley. Crowley. Yes. For three grand for money you say you loaned him and he hasn't repaid. Let's hear it. Yeah, so pretty much over the course of two years, I'll lend him money, you know, just help him out. I was just being a good friend, you know, just watching out for him whenever he asked. I always pretty much did it. And then over time, he just, it was always excuses. So I just got tired of it. I was just like, I didn't threaten him. I was like, are you, I'm like, bro, can you just pay me some money? I'm like, just, it don't have to be a lot, 20, 30, 40 dollars a week, don't matter. And then pretty much he just, Block me on everything when I try to contact him to ask did him about it. Did he ever pay you any of the money back? He paid me a little bit here and there. He so up how much did he pay you back? He owed me over $3,000, but I subtracted it from that. So really, I'm that losing. has nothing to do with the statutory maximum of $3,000? <laughs> no, it's higher than that, but I just made a set at So three. No, but tell me factually, how much did you, did you loan him? It was around like maybe $3,800. $3,800. Did you ever keep track of how much you were loaned? Because according to you, you didn't loan until them all at once, right? I didn't. All right. So the first time you loaned him money was what day? The day was two years ago. I'm not sure of the month. It was so many different times. Uh, so and how are you able to keep track of it? Because I had it on my phone. Well, where is it? Let me see your phone. I, I don't have that. Well, I have my phone, but I don't have the records anymore. So how am I going to know that your memory is accurate about something that happened? Well, it was two years ago. How am I going to know that? Yeah, just over time, I just got tired of it, and I just deleted it. Okay, well, that's fine, but you understand what I'm asking. Yeah, you, right? I understand. Do you have any texts back and forth that would corroborate that you had loaned him money and that he, how much he was paying you back and all that stuff? Yes, I do. Okay, what have you got? Uh, text messages and Facebook messages. Okay, let's see it. All right, and um, according to you, when's the next time you loan him money? Because we got to get to three grand. So how many different times do you loan him money? Honestly, it was like 70 different times. How many? About 70 different times, maybe. Did you say 70 or yes. seven? 70, zero, seven, zero. 70 times, because I don't know anybody who loans money <laughs> 70 times. I'm the type So what, right. Okay, sorry. Right. And so why would you loan somebody money 70 times who's not paying you back? Because he always, like, if I loan him money, he'll pay a little bit to pay it off. And after he pays it off, then he gets a, another large sum of money. Well, that's all the reason, all the more reason why you should be keeping good records of what he'd pay. How are you ever going to be expected to remember that? True. Yes, and so I, we was friends for so long. Like, he, he always paid me back, so I never thought of anything. And what were you loaning him money for? Uh, he'll tell me it's for his daughter or he owes somebody money and stuff here and there, just a lot. Let's hear your defense. What have you got to say about that? He never gave me any cash, period. Uh, <laughs> and actually, it wasn't over two years. Uh, it was last year, and that's when he started giving me the marijuana. It wasn't Marijuana? Over. Yes. OK. How much marijuana did he give you? Uh, at first, he gave me about two ounces. And then, you know, from there. What were you supposed to do with it? We were going to, I was going to sell it. And, and why did he think you could sell marijuana? Is that yeah. your specialty? No, it's not, because of okay. uh, the area I was living in, and, you know, it was a bad neighborhood, and he believed that I could get my clientele up. And so did you sell the marijuana? No, I didn't sell any of it. We Wh ended up What'd smoking. you do with the marijuana? We all smoked it. Who's we all? <laughs> Me, him, including several of our, our, our friends. Okay, and then when you say at first he got you two ounces, how much else did he, did he send your way? He ended up bringing me, you know. Total, how much marijuana did he give you? 
at least, you know, $3,000 worth. Oh, okay. And what did you do with $3,000 worth of marijuana? Uh, like I said, we either smoked it all, and you know, that was about it. <laughs> how long have you two known each other? Since seventh grade. Mm. And how old are you now? I'm 23. And how old are you? 23. Okay. And um, so do you have any witnesses? I mean, I got a statement from somebody that he worked with and someone I know that, you know, can let you know everything that I just yeah, told Yeah, let me see it. Let me see it. So are these Facebook posts? Yes. Uh, I guess you are using this to acknowledge that he acknowledges that he owes you money. The thing is, he's saying what he owes you money for is because he smoked all your marijuana no. and didn't sell it. Um, how much do I owe you again, bro? I know it's over two grand. And he answers, for sure. But IK, what does it say? LK? I know. Uh, I know, bro. I'm Just yellow, checking, yellow. making sure we was good or not, but yeah. Is this after or before some big fight happens between you guys? This was after. Okay, so at, at some point, there's um, some smack talking going back and forth, and then what do you do? You show up at the house they invited you to show up at and, quote, speak with your hands. So you go to the house because you think you're gonna collect money, and what happens at the house? Everybody gets into a big physical fight. Uh, first, he was sitting outside with his family, and they're the type of people, I'm pretty sure they like to jump people, so. I had my sister and, you know, my friends with okay, me. Oh, we're ready for a rumble. Go ahead. I really wasn't there to fight. And no, I just no, that's it. why you had your sister and your friends, because you know that they're fighters. Okay, go on. And, and then what happens? So uh, we were just looking at each other from across the street, and then we were just talking at first, and then I just made him, like, I, I didn't make a move. Like, I was just like this, and then he just put up his hands, so I put up my hands because I was The two get, of you? Yeah, I was getting in self-defense mode because I and thought And then what happened? Did somebody strike somebody? Yeah, we ended up fighting. For who like hit who first? 30 seconds. I'm, I don't even know. Okay. Honestly. And then you make up after that. Yeah, we Because you've known each other since seventh grade. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Idiots. <laughs> Pair of idiots. <laughs> I ain't got nothing yet, you answer. Got another job yet, man, but I ain't forgot about you. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read, read through this. Um, on his answer on December 16th. When you ask how much do I owe you again, bro, is for sure, I know, bro, just checking, making sure we was good or not. But yeah, it's a total of 3K. A little over, but I'm not worried about it. But this just what happens when you let debts build up over the course of two years. I should have stopped you when it got too high, but I was just trying to be a good friend. Helping in... The time I need. The time I need. And then uh, you get lost for Christmas, and it's now almost New Year's. And he says, what's up, bro? We still good for... For today, obviously, you must have talked at some point. I ain't get nothing yet. Didn't get another job yet, man, but I ain't forgot. Why didn't, how come when he says that little little jam about you let your debts build up, doesn't that sound like he was loaning you money and it wasn't for marijuana? No, because Does, he never loaned me any cash, period. Okay, I'm gonna knock this out when tax time comes. I will have your money. Okay, now he claims that he writes you and says, for sure, but, I know, bro, just checking, making sure we was good or not. But yeah, it's a total of three blah, 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 or two years. I should have stopped you when it got too high. This is the rest of that, supposedly. Do you have it in yeah. your phone? Yes, I do. Let me see it in your phone. Okay. Uh, I should have stopped you when it got there, but I was trying to be a good friend, helping in time of need. You know me, always helping someone before myself. Plus, I trust you were going to pay me back. We known each other way too long for it to end over money. But overall, here's the breakdown, bro. The first loan was 1500 for your rent for a couple months because you got fired. The second loan was 500. What happened to 70 times? For Kiki, you said your job let you go again and you didn't have money for diapers or nothing. And the last loan, you said you owe someone over 1,000. You was gonna be in trouble if you didn't pay it off knowing me. I did, because you my bro. Okay, how come when I ask you about how the loans happen, you don't say what's in here? How come you say, oh, it's 70 different times? Okay, because uh, over the course of two years, it was always the same excuse. This is three times. This is not 70 times. Yeah, I and just... And these are, this is a very specific account of how we get to $3,000. When you get, did you get this? Mm. Do you remember getting this? And Wait, I can't hear you. what is that again? <laughs> Do you have a phone? Yes, I have a phone. Does your phone have your text with him from December of 2017? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because I deleted the conversation thread. Okay. So, no, I don't have that text anymore. 
Can I, but I do something? remember that conversation. No, not right now. Hold on. Okay. Is this a screenshot? Yes. No, I want to see it in the phone. I don't have the message. I oh. screenshot that months ago. Yeah, but you didn't screenshot the rest of the message that you would type on. You could type this on a piece of paper where you're talking about how the loan happened. I want to hit view all, and guess what happens? Nothing, because it's a screenshot. That's why I want to see them. So you you don't have them on this phone anymore. No. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And so now, please explain to me why under oath, literally three minutes ago, you told me that you get to the three thousand by combining the 70 different times you loaned him money, and in what you purport to be the rest of the text that I can't view, it's like this. 1,500 for rent, 500 for, key, is it Kiki or KK? KK, actually. KK, that's your baby? Yes. And 1,000 because somebody was gonna beat you up if you didn't, because, you know, whatever. How is it like this? Or it starts to sound like maybe you are making this stuff up about how it went and that maybe it is marijuana. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. If you have a good friend, you loan him money and they stiff you, would you ever loan him again if they really come to you sincerely and say, I really need some money? No. Once burned? No. That's it? That's it. What do you say? Same thing. One time is enough. That's would it. you ever, what if, if they really were a good friend and they gave you a sob story and they didn't, well, I'll pay you both back later. No, I wouldn't give it. Okay, you guys are smart people going inside the courtroom. Now, according to you, you had a statement from someone saying what? What am I going to read in this statement? <laughs> we Pretty all much. smoke the dope. That's what I'm going to read? I mean, somewhat, yeah. yeah, but. Yeah, oh, no, no, I'm loving it. Hold on one second. This person has a phone number. Yeah. And this person's name is Shaika Hargro? Shaikia. Shaikia? Yes. You know her? Shaikia. Yeah, Kia, his girlfriend, or... It's his girlfriend? Get your girlfriend on the line. I'm dying to hear from her. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. I'm She's like, calling him right and his family... You, first you get her on and have her hold. Go ahead. Okay, okay, so him and his family, of course, he's going to talk to him yeah. and put him up to talking yeah. and saying what he wants you to hear. Right. So about that, about the 70 different times, it was always the same excuse, and I just combined them yeah, all into one. I don't so. know what you're talking about. I asked you how many times you loaned him money. Your answer was like 70 different times. So it ended yeah, up coming right. to that. Yes, it was 70 different times. So that's not excuses. It's 70, and I said 70 different times. I don't know anybody who, listen. This mind is a steel trap in here, okay? Yes. So when I ask you 70 different times, I don't know anybody who loans money to somebody 70 different times. Well, I'm just nice like that. That was your answer. Go ahead. She's on my... Hi, Kia. Just, I don't think... Hi. Um, what is your full name? Shy Kia Harper. Okay. How old are you? I'm 20. Okay. Um, did you write a letter for... Is he your boyfriend? Yes. Okay. Did you write a letter for him for court? I want to make sure this is authentic. Yes. Okay, why don't you tell me what the story is? Because I've got two very different stories between these two fellas, and I, I want to know what's going on. Right. Okay, so me and Quan were friends. I met him through uh, DeWan Crowley. And, you know, we were friends. We went to work together and stuff like that. And during the time that we worked together, he has been complaining about uh, the marijuana that he lent you know, Dewan. What did he lend marijuana to Dewan for? Was Dewan supposed to sell it? Yes. Go on. But we did, he did not sell it. We all basically smoked it. How, how, many, how, many, how, many, how many times did it take to smoke all that weed? I honestly don't know. I'd say a couple months, maybe. And did he but know? Then, did you ever hear him say anything about his product? Like, why are we smoking the product? You're supposed to be selling it. No, he never said nothing like that. Never. And why didn't your boyfriend sell the marijuana he was supposed to sell? Am I really asking that? You are. Yeah. I what? have no idea. And did I'm, I'm so? Sorry. Did Quan? Did you ever hear Quan say anything about expecting your boyfriend to sell the marijuana or pay for it? Yes, I did. What did you hear? He said that he. Okay, so they ended up fighting, and that time they fought, he called me and said that it's either they fight or he give him the money, and he chose to fight him. So I told him, my words were, you chose to fight, so clearly, you know, that's a verbal agreement in my books. So <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. Um, so he 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 took what was behind door number one and chose to fight, so he shouldn't get paid. But all right, but tell me tell me after that you have a conversation with him according to you at work. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yes, before we went to work, he was talking about taking him to court. I said you cannot take no one to court for marijuana. <laughs> you, you just can't do that. Well, apparently you can. Um, but go ahead. That's right. But right. he chose to say that it was about money. About a and loan. Right, about a loan. I said, that's not true. You can't say that. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's not true at all. He expected the want to say that, you know, I he gave me the, the weed to sell for, for drugs and blah, 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 blah. So that way he can go to jail. That was his that was his way of trying to twist everything. But I try to be, I try to tell him this is stupid. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much. This has been very helpful. No, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that one's a keeper. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any other texts or Facebook messages or evidence to show me? That's it. It's just the screenshots that okay. are printed off from my phone. Okay. Um, Can I please yeah, say tell me why Mr. Crawley would say it was for marijuana and then his girlfriend would say it was for marijuana. Uh, wouldn't their best interest be to not say that both publicly and under oath and face potential problems uh, if, unless it's true? And they, they are, why would they say that? One, I have no idea, like, I'm not in their heads, but that's pretty much the only thing that they can come up with because they do smoke weed, they drink, they do, do all you? that stuff. I don't. Okay. I Go don't. On. I had a newborn daughter, and I worked a normal job. I saved up thousands of dollars. Over two years, he's always asking me for money. And it was yeah, always the no, same. No, we're not going to go over the same stuff you've been, you've been saying. You have zero proof that um, you provided him with a loan. I fi it's finally happened. I finally yeah, had the case often. I've talked That's about all forever. of my career. That is correct. When, uh, <laughs> if you <laughs> think that the law gets involved in making a drug dealer or potential drug dealer, lazy drug dealer, <laughs> uh, or a supplier whole, you got another thing coming. So I am not going to order him to pay you for what I believe was a drug deal. But even if I didn't believe was it, it was a drug deal, which I do, all right, I still would have a hard time finding that he owes you three grand <laughs> for 70 loans during 70 different times, none of which are written down or acknowledged or receipts or promissory notes or anything else. My verdict is for the lazy drug dealer. Please. Can I get my cousin on the phone? So the plaintiff fails to prove his case. The judge just didn't buy your story, Mr. Thompson. What you, you mentioned as the judge left, could you get your cousin on the phone? Yes, what? Cousin. My cousin, Brianna, she knows the whole story. Yeah? Yes, my cousin, my uh, girlfriend, Brianna, they know the whole story. And when I was explaining myself, I didn't explain it well enough, and that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that hurt you. That hurt you. You should have brought them to court as, as witnesses for you to help you out. Yes, I had their phone number. But yeah, well. I was trying to. I mean, you were, he was lucky that, you know, she, she called. But in any event, bottom line, it's a little late now. Case is over. You didn't have any evidence, you know, and that's that, your problem. Yeah, that was actual text uh, screenshots from the text message I had she against him. She doesn't like screenshots. You heard that. Sorry. Sorry about that. What about this friendship? Seventh grade? You've known each other? Yeah, seventh grade. Like, that's all, can all you, are you still going to be friends, you think? All he had to do was pay me the money back. That's all I want. It's for my daughter. My daughter is three months. I just want my money to get what she needs. But what about this friendship? The friendship? It's whatever. Is it, are, can you still be friends? It's, if he paid me my money back, yes. All right. I just want well, my money back. Good luck to you. It. Okay, thank you very much. All right, Mr. Crowley. As she called you the lazy drug dealer, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, what about this friendship? He says if you pay him some money, you can be friends again. You, is it over? What do you think? I've mean, known each other a long time, man. Yeah, we did. We yeah. really did. But people come, people go. I'm All right. My life. Goodbye.
thing. Harvey? Hey, Doug, real simple. If this is a drug deal, which it is, I mean, it is unenforceable because it's an illegal contract.